in today's video i'm going to be showing you a quick way to master your song using fab filter plugins without wasting much of your time let's get into the video what's up and welcome back to the channel if you're new to this channel my name is jay i make music production tutorials on youtube in cubase and fl studio consider subscribing and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a brand new video firstly you need to know the tempo and key of your song I'm going to be showing you why in a few minutes. So the tempo of this song that I have right here is 95 BPM and it's in the key of C sharp minor. So I'm going to put my 95 here. Pick the loudest point of your mix. This is where my chorus starts so i'll be doing all the mastering at this point go to your master and add an eq make a low cut right here make sure this is 12 the q should be one change this to side set the frequency to 95. So we can now add a boost between 2k and 3.5k depending on where the key of the song is let's change this to stereo so the key of this song is c sharp so i'm simply going to be dragging this until i see c sharp right here okay so c sharp is somewhere around this point as 2.2k add another boost here around 2.5 db so this one here should be side make this dynamic and this dynamic let's move on to the second eq on the second eq let's add another high shelf at 1300 set the q to 0 0.3 and boost it up to somewhere around 4.5 and make this dynamic on the third eq cut out some of the highs here set this to 24 make sure the q is one the frequency at 13 kilohertz so let's take a listen to what this does to our song now so you can listen to the presence that it brings to the song so let's move on to a compressor to kind of just glue everything together. Leave the gain at auto, the release at auto, the ratio at 2 to 1 and set the style to mastering. So we're going to use our tempo to calculate for the attack time in sync with our song. 60,000 divided by our tempo which is 95 divide this number by 4 until we find ourselves somewhere below 10 or around 10. So what we get is 9.86. This is basically just 9.87 if we round it off. Let's do some compression on our song. Be moving this threshold right here until we see that our reduction is not more than negative 3 dB. Alright, so we'll leave it at negative 2.4, gain reduction right here. Now let's move on to our limiter to kind of boost the loudness to the standard loudness. Set the oversampling to 4 times, then we'll be pushing this until we see a gain reduction of about negative 3. If 
you take a look at the gain reduction right here it's somewhere around negative 3.1 at some point it was going over negative 4 so i'll try to leave it here but if you look at the maximum loudness here in terms of lufs it's negative 10.1 but what we want for cd playback and club mixes and so on should be somewhere around negative 9 to negative 7 lufs so our target here will be negative 8 to negative 7 since right here we've reached this gain reduction that i talked about which is not more than negative three so what we're going to do to fix our loudness now is add another limiter all right so on this last limiter what we do is for the output let's set it to negative 0 0.3 let's change the oversampling to four times push this until we see negative eight to negative seven lufs right here Alright, so if you take a look at the reduction, this is negative 3.0. The LUFS on this one is negative 8.3. So I think we are there now. Let's try and listen to other parts of the song. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like because it helps the channel grow. If you are new to this channel, subscribe, click that post notification bell so that you get notified next time I upload a brand new video. See you in my next video. Peace.